guys, welcome back to another 30 minute home workout. Today's session is going to be a leg and core workout. So we're gonna start with our warm up again and then get into the circuit, which will have four leg exercises followed by four core exercises. So we'll really be smashing each of those areas individually. Um, and then we'll get into the racket work and footwork. For this workout, you will need, as always, your badminton shoes and a badminton racket, and also one chair or something of that height to rest your back foot on. That's all. All right, so this workout, as always, is gonna be eight exercises broken up into one minute intervals. You can choose your own interval work to rest ratio, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for beginners, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for intermediate, or 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off for advanced. Cool, all right, guys, so for our warm up, we're just gonna start with a glute stretch. So on one foot, we're gonna be coming into this position, so crossing that foot over leaving his knee out to the side and pushing down. You can do this sitting on the chair if you want or even sitting on the ground. So we're just really working that hip for 30 seconds here. Because I find my hips are always tight, my glutes are always tight. So you can push this knee down a bit, trying to keep this nice and flat, 90 degrees. And then we are gonna just switch over to the other leg. So my foot is just above my kneecap, keeping this 90 degrees to my stance leg, I'm trying to push this knee down. Cool, then we're gonna get into a lunge position and then we're just gonna straighten that front leg. So we're just going lunge, straighten, lunge, straighten. Couple of those, and then we're gonna just swap legs. So just stretching out that hamstring a little bit, getting the hip stretched out through the front. You can put your hand down on the ground or you can just stay upright as well. Cool, and then last one, we're just gonna do some back twists. So getting our back moving. So keeping our hips facing forward feet nice and stable on the ground and just twisting. Cool, that's it. Should be warm, ready to go. Let's get into the workout. All right guys, so the first exercise of this leg and core workout is gonna be a wall sit. So back flat up against the wall, trying to get to 90 degrees, and we're just gonna ease into this part of the workout, the leg part, with a wall sit. So our feet shoulder width apart, knees, hips, just outside our hips, thinking about the knee going towards our fourth toe. We're not letting those knees go inwards too wide. Think about pushing through the heel. This makes us use our glutes a bit more because this can be very quad dominant, burning. Quads should be burning anyway, regardless, but we're trying to get those glutes working a little bit more. Good work, hang in there guys. As I said, it's gonna be four leg exercises and then four core ones. So we're just gonna smash our legs to begin with. Alrighty. Coming down onto our backs, we need our chair or bench for this part, putting our feet up, raising the hips, and then we're just holding it. So we're just working our hamstrings here, our glutes, posterior chain muscles, and just another isometric hold to get them firing, burning, working, all that good stuff. Just the heels on the edge of the chair or whatever you're using. Good, trying to keep those hips up. Think about those glutes squeezing together to push you up. Trying not to rely on your back to arch and push up. So the top of the back is just relaxed and it's your glutes and hamstrings that are doing all the work here. Keep pushing through those heels. Just remind yourself to lift if you start to sag, kind of subconsciously. Good work. All right, up into our feet. 
and we're using our chair again, placing our back foot on top of it. You can have toe down, toe up, up to you. And we're just going into Bulgarian squats. So here we want our knee over our ankle and we're just going up and down. Again, really thinking about that knee going towards the fourth toe, definitely not going inwards. So nice and straight. And we're gonna swap legs halfway for this one. Should have mentioned that earlier. Good work. All right, next we are going into our downward dog position with our feet against the wall. Nice and high here, and then we're just gonna bend our knees and straighten back up. So really, oh my gosh. Working those quads. So our feet are flat against the wall or up against the corner. We're bending our knees, squatting down, and then straightening. So the back, shoulders, pretty much staying in the same position the whole time. It's really just the legs moving. Really should be getting those quads. Good work. All right, that's the legs done. Now we're coming onto our back, going into a V-set position, and we're starting with Russian twists. So we're just twisting side to side, trying to keep our knees stable so we're not flopping our bum around. We're trying to keep everything nice and strong, just using our abs to twist our upper body here. Your hips are a bit tired, a bit tight. You can rest them on the ground here and just let your hip flexors relax and keep working those abs. Good work, stay strong. Nice, all right, we're coming flat onto our back, getting our legs as straight as we can, and we're just gonna go up and touch our shoelaces or our toes here. If your neck is struggling a little bit, then you can just put your hands behind your head and just continue the same movement, just supporting that neck a little bit more, trying to not reach the elbows in front, always trying to keep those elbows back and just let the neck relax. Making sure the abs are working and it's not our neck compensating for the distance. The distance doesn't matter, it's all about just the activation of the abs. Good work. Nice, all right, staying on our back here. Next, we're gonna go into bicycles. So hands, again, behind the head, behind the neck or the ears, and we're just going opposite knee to elbow. The other leg is straightening out, but not touching the ground. So it's staying above the ground the whole time. The shoulders are staying flat on the ground, and then that one is just lifting up to cross over to the other side. So you don't have to keep your shoulders up the whole time. They can just chill. So we're just twisting those abs, working those obliques again. Really important for our abs to be strong in the rotational movements, like when we're smashing and twisting on court, to get that power. Good, keep stretching out that straight leg, crunching that elbow up. Nice, all right, last one, bit of a chiller one. 
One of my favorites is just touching the outside of the ankle on each side. So we're using the oblique side abs again to crunch and bring our upper body round to the side. Once again, if your neck is getting a bit tired here, just use your hands to support it and continue the same movement. So our upper shoulders are just off the ground and we're just twisting around, small movements side to side. Try to keep your chin up towards the sky, looking up to the sky, not through here, as we need to be careful of our necks. Good work, last one. Push this one out. And then we're ready for our next round. <laughs> nice work. All right, let's go for round two, back for our wall sit. So again, we're setting up feet, knees, hips, all in line. Back nice and flat, trying to go for 90 degrees. Hands on the quads. A little bit of a cheat, but I'm not watching you, so do as you please. <laughs> But I don't raise quitters and cheaters. Good, stay strong. Check in on your knees every now and then that are going out to the fourth toe, that your glutes are working and it's not just your quads here. Nice. Hang in there. Good one. All right. On to our backs, feet up on the edge of the chair and into our double leg hip raise. So heels on the edge, hips are up, bum is turned on, our back is just chilling, hamstrings working, thinking about pushing the heels down towards the floor. Keep those hamstrings firing. Good work. Stay nice and strong. Keep pushing those heels down. Try to focus on using that bum and hamstring and not your back to support you. Nice, all right. Click onto our feet into the Bulgarian squat. Oh my gosh. All right, and we're doing half on one leg, half on the other leg. So a quick changeover if you can keep your balance. One of the harder exercises to set up without falling on your face. So again, trying to keep that knee over the ankle, hips up, chest up, and switching over. Whoop. Knee going towards the fourth toe. Going to whatever depth is comfortable. You can just keep it at 90 degrees or above. You don't have to go super low. Cool, and then we're coming into our downward dog position against the wall, feet against the wall, and into those wall squats. Last one here. So pushing the armpits down towards our feet towards the ground and then we're just bending the legs, straightening, bending, straightening. Shoulders nice and flat. Legs going from straight to bent or as straight as you can get. Really working the quads here. So it's pretty much just a knee extension exercise. Keeping those hips high. Upper body's pretty much staying in the same position. It's just the legs moving. 
If you really struggle with this, you can just do squats or something instead. Whew. Embrace the burn until you can't embrace it anymore. Ugh. Nice. Cool, all right. Into our four core exercises next. Getting ready for our Russian twist. So feet up and we're twisting side to side. Remember we're keeping the hips, the lower abs nice and stable and then we're just turning our shoulders using our obliques. Side ab muscles to rotate us here. Good work, stay strong. Remember you can drop those heels to the ground if your hips are dying. Keep breathing. <laughs> nice, chilling onto our backs for a second and then we're into those toe touches. So legs straight up and we're trying to reach our shoelaces or our toes or hands behind the head. Same movement, just supporting that neck a little bit more. Remember, we're trying to crunch with abs, not with our neck. So really just thinking about using these top abs and trying to relax your neck. Nice, keep going. Good work. Two exercises left. Next we're into our bicycles. Ready and let's go. So straightening out one leg and then touching elbow across to the opposite knee. Hands behind the head, supporting that neck again. Shoulders are kind of just chilling and it's those lower abs working more and those obliques to twist. So we're extending that leg out, but it's staying hovering just above the ground and bending it in. Just keep a nice steady pace here. Good work. Last one. Ankle taps. Nice. Easy one to finish. Touching the outside of that ankle. Side to side. Thinking about these abs down the bottom side crunching to help you reach around. You can put the hands behind the neck if you need that support. Good work, stay strong. Try to keep your movement nice and smooth. Good work, all right, we're done. Beach body should be ready to go. <laughs> no, all right, grab a drink and grab your racket because now we're into our racket work. Alright guys, good work. Now we're 
gonna get into our racket work. So grab your heavy racket and your normal racket or your normal racket if that's all you have. We're gonna be doing two different exercises today. The first one is gonna be figure of eight. So we're just keeping a neutral kind of forehand grip and we're kind of just doing infinity shapes. Maybe not figure of eight, infinity. So we're working the forearm here nice and quick. We're doing that for 30 seconds, 15 seconds break. And then we're gonna change rackets. And then the second exercise is just gonna be practicing grip changes. So we're working on our fingers here and smooth transitions so we're not being clunky when we change our grips. We're trying to do it nice and smooth, practicing different grips for different positions so we don't get stuck and not have the finger capacity to get to the right grip. All right, ready? So starting with figure eight, infinity, let's go. So nice big circles, keep this forearm relaxed. Sometimes when we are doing a lot of heavy racket stuff, it can get very stiff through the wrist because you're putting a lot of force into it. So this is kind of working the wrist, but in a more fluid way. So really just kind of a hammer grip here. Fingers all just pushed down. Nice and changing rackets. Short break here. So again, fingers down and we're just going in this infinity shape. Ready and let's go. So a bit quicker now. Also kind of helps with your coordination as well. I think. Try not to hit your knees. Nice work. And we're back to the heavy racket. Now we're just doing the grip changes here. So changing your grips as you please. Backhand to backhand on the forehand side. Forehand grip. Forehand on this side. As you like. And let's go. Just trying to keep it quick and fluid. So you can play the shot in front of you, but then you're just keeping it loose and ready to change for the next one. You can move your body a bit as well. Get the hips moving, shoulder turning. but you should really start to feel a burn in your hand and your forearm here with this one. Maybe using some muscles that you're not quite used to using this way. And break. Changing. If you want on this one, you can add a little bit more power to your shots as well. And let's go. This is one that you can also easily do hitting against the wall because obviously there's the randomness of the shuttle bouncing backwards. You don't know where it's gonna come and you have to change your grip quickly. Nice. One more time through all of that. So back to the figure eight. Heavy and then normal. Let's go. Really relaxing through that wrist again. Trying to keep nice speed. You actually have to focus pretty hard on this coordination to keep the pattern. Good work. And light racket. Ready and let's go. Last one of this.
extra work. Try and pick up the speed if you can. Nice. Back to the heavy racket and into those grip changes here. Ready, and let's go. Using power through all the different spots so that shuttle can come flying at you. Really focusing on your fingers, keeping them loose as you're changing, but always trying to keep contact with your fingers so you're not throwing and catching it. Trying to roll it within your hand. Good work, keep the speed and break into the light racket. Last one here. Try and go a bit faster and harder than the last round. Let's go. Good work, nearly there. Keep changing, mixing it up. All right, nice one. Grab a quick drink and then we're into some footwork. Alright guys, now into the footwork part, we're going to be doing some front court footwork and defense footwork. So the first one, I'm call calling it the Bambi lunge. My Chinese coach taught me this and the emphasis is on lifting your knee high for your forward lunge. So we're pushing off and then we're lunging like this. So we're kind of coming backwards to go forward and bring that foot up higher. So we're just doing repetitive lunges like that. So that's the first exercise, and then the second one is a bit more single defense. We have our base here, and we're just gonna quickly turn, lunge, come back, and then quickly turn, lunge. So we're practicing that quick turn, push off from the middle. It's gonna be 30 seconds on, 15 seconds break, and we're gonna alternate between those two exercises for two rounds. All right, so starting with our Bambi lunge here, let's go. So really trying to kick that foot up, nearly touching it to your hamstring. Working on getting that really big step. Good work, lifting that foot. Imagine you're stepping over a little hurdle before you land. Good work. Now we're into that defense. So we're getting into our position in the middle and then we're just quickly turning to one side quick to the other side. Ready, and let's go. So quick push off, really pushing those feet hard into the ground to pivot and push you in the direction that you need to go. Good work, keep going. Nice. Again, if you don't have much space, just drop the racket, just do it with your hands. All right, so we're back into the lunge. So we're lifting that foot, it's nearly touching here, and then landing. Let's go. Good work, try and get a bigger lunge each time. 
really reaching with that foot. Nice work. Last one here of our defense, quick push off. So this is when we have no time to really react and we're just quickly going for that smash. Let's go. Nearly there, keep going. All right guys, nice work, smashed it. Good job. If you're looking to take your workouts a bit more seriously, through my website, you can subscribe to weekly badminton specific strength and conditioning programs.